Hi, my name is Bob, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about the BP oil spill. What is a clathrate? Well, I don't happen to have a big tank of methane, and I don't happen to have a diving bell that I can go down a mile deep and demonstrate this. But using other types of gases that form clathrates and uh, uh, gas hydrates kind of at room temperature and at pressures that happen to be in the room that I'm in, um, we can kind of do a demonstration. And the idea here is to inject into the bottom of the bob water and a lot of methane. But um, any of those those light gases, when they hit the when they hit water, will form a clathrate. And I will demonstrate that right now using this seltzer bottle. I'm using, and I have water. Deer Park, that's good water. Good water that maybe will save us from the bad water. You don't need a lot, at least for the purposes of this demonstration. This is canned air. This is a you know some sort of evil, you know, fluorinated hydrocarbon of some sort. Um, not a good thing to really be doing in a closed room like this. But shh, don't tell anyone. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're just basically going to spray this crap right in here, and what you'll see is the ice. See, my water is freezing. It's forming ice pellets. Okay. At the bottom, we have liquefied gas. The liquefied gas. You can see it boiling. You can actually hear it boiling. Now, this white material is ice. Regular old ice. However, When we shake the hell out of it, we don't have ice anymore. This isn't ice. What this is, is this is a gas hydrate. This, and this is the exact same stuff that we could generate in enormous quantities by injecting methane and water into the inlets in the bob. So here's the question. How does this help us? Um, if you look, it forms this clumpy gunk. And the more pressure you push on that clumpy gunk, it actually will it will actually form a plug. This bottle is fully pressurized, fully pressurized fully pressurized and the clathrates are actually sealing the bottle as I un as I undo I'm going to do this with the pliers now because my hands are now frozen stiff but if you look at this this is holding back the entire pressure of that bottle and the clathrates have formed a plug a plug that has sealed the bottle now this is under the this is under probably about 100 psi at this point, and we have you can hear it small amount of gas leaking out, but we certainly do not have the outflow from from this. So interestingly enough, again it seals seals the leak. As I keep opening this up more and more, more of the clathrate is forced into the choke point. It piles up, piles up and forms a tight wad of icy material that actually seals the bottle. Okay? See that? 
that big chunk of crap in the bottom that's like a solid block, that is not ice. This is the solid clathrate material formed by this stuff. You can see this stuff right here. This isn't ice. It's not melting. It's not going anywhere. And that's because it's not ice. You can actually hear it somewhat. That's actually the gas being released as I my body heat starts to make the clathrate disassociate into gas and water. Um, here we have that same bottle that I capped earlier. It's now uh, about a half an hour later. <laughs> Stuff is amazing. So, you know, obviously at uh, the 80-something degrees that it's in my hot garage, uh, some of the stuff does decompose, but once again, it's, it's, it's worth an instructive demonstration of how amazing this material is. Um, what I'm going to do here is the jaws of life, or, or death, or whatever these might be. Okay. Has actually formed a solid plug, a solid plug that has sealed this bottle tight, sealed it tight. And this is what I'm hoping will happen inside of this, of my crushed pipe. So, put that back on there. This stuff is amazing. So, this is what it's all about, people. So, I hope that this is useful to somebody. I hope it, it makes people think about it. I don't know if it'll work or not. Who knows? Um, as BP is always saying, we've never done this at this depth. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess not. Um, so I, I, all I can say is we've never done this at this depth. Actually, I've just done this at, at this depth, but uh, I don't know whether this would actually work or not. But it would be very easy to construct a, you know, a mock-up of this and see if it's something that could that could work. Part of the problem that I have is it's not like I can go to a website and find out all the current status and technical information about what they believe to be the current status of the internals of the BOP and what it looks like inside there. Um, having the technical information available, having all the information that they have available, even if it's in a very rough giant heap, uh, that would be helpful to you know, the amateurs like us in trying to figure out a solution to this that doesn't involve um, I don't know, having to skim oil off of the Gulf for the next 18 months. So, there it is.